you need to analyze what the ego does to you only then once you analyze that with the intellect what the ego does is doing to me it's poisoning me it's killing me it's breaking me down only then you will start to realize that i need solutions to bring me out of this egoistic how to take care of my ego a problem in your question is that my that my is the problem so what is ego me mine i my ideas my thoughts my things my house my car my wife my son what's another expression of ego i am saying this i am supreme i feel like that i think like that all the time arrogating that i me mine so ego you can control it you can ultimately you should destroy it but it's very very difficult to destroy it because if you destroy it you become god so ego can be controlled only by awareness to find out to analyze to inquire that from the the day you are born in fact you are born into this world because of ego because of that that subtle vasna your vasna coming into that individual self so you are born because of that and when you are born you are born because of the combination of the spirit and matter and when you are born no fault of yours everyone feeds your ego oh you like this take it you don't like this leave it and you especially if you are born in an opulent family you need not have ego i'm not saying when you are born into an opulent family you have ego you need not have ego but when you are born into that opulent family and if it's new wealth not old wealth if it's new wealth i don't agree with you i need this for myself i am like that you keep on arrogating everything to yourself and inflating the ego so that ego is deadly the ego is that which ganesha lord ganesha has tied the snake up the ego the snake represents the ego and what type of a snake the most poisonous snake on this on this planet what the cobra so lord ganesha has tied it to his to his stomach he tied the ego to his stomach the ego tried to act smart with lord ganesha and as a child he said don't try and act smart in front of me he tied it to his stomach totally under control lord shiva holds it holds it round his neck wears it round his neck why will anybody wear a snake round his neck will you wear a snake round your neck no but lord shiva has worn it what to what sort of a snake again a cobra and that cobra doesn't look here doesn't look there look straight totally under control that's why he is lord shiva he is maheshwara he is the lord of all beings because he's totally got his ego he's annihilated that ego completely controlled so what does the ego do do to you it's that poison in the snake it poisons your personality and when your personality is poisoned you create that otherness from the world i am different from the world so when you create the otherness from the world you don't have empathy you don't have love you don't have feeling you don't have affection for others it's only me me and me so you need to analyze what the ego does to you only then once you analyze that with the intellect what the ego does is doing to me it's poisoning me it's killing me it's breaking me down only then you will start to realize that i need solutions to bring me out of this egoistic living and also unnecessary you have ego for what when you analyze your analysis also comes to point that why am i rich today because of other people one person cannot do anything alone the the corporate people think that our people the laborers who work for us they are there because of us the laborers think the corporate people they are rich because of us they don't understand the beautiful confluence of the labor the labor union needs the corporations the corporations need the labor unions so there's a beautiful comp there's a beautiful harmony there's a beautiful symphony 
So when you analyze and find out without others, I cannot do anything myself. So then you will start treating the expressions of ego differently with the intellect. So you will therefore not have ex the expressions of ego, which is what? I am supreme. You feel yourself supreme. Unnecessary. I alone exist. You don't take into consideration the existence of others. You don't take into consideration the existence of animals. Poor, poor animals. You're slaughtered for the tongue. Hmm? Two and a half inches of tongue. That taste doesn't last. And you slaughter, slaughter, slaughter. So ego is that. I alone exist. You don't consider that other animals also exist. And I am supreme. I alone exist and I am the doer. I am the doer. Third, you believe you can do anything without the help of others? Do it. Find out what happens. You line in ICU. So, to, to be able to handle the ego, the expressions of ego, it's nothing but the, an awareness that I am nobody. I am nobody. I'm just a speck in this entire universe. I'm a tiny, tiny speck. Even though I'm the richest man in this world, I'm a dot. Just a dot. And I have come there because of the benevolence, because of blessings, because of, of course, your hard work, but because others have reached me. So when you come to the top, you don't become egoistic. A successful person is one who becomes more humble, who reaches out to everyone in this world. That's how you start analyzing. You become more aware and only then you will start working on to not developing this ego. You will be very careful. You will never say, my room, don't enter. My car, my house. No. In India, there is a tradition, our house. In India, there is a tradition, this is our car. In India, there is a tradition, this is, they don't say my wife. They say, it's, it's my, my son's mother. Huh? That's the tradition. Our, our, not mine, mine. It's yours, yours. So, practice this in your living. Only when you practice this in your living at every stage, you will not allow this ego to grow. Otherwise, this ego will grow on every little step you take. And it's deadly because the poison kills you. Your life. Take it how it comes.